Imagine spawning into a One Piece Minecraft server with 300 players in order to simulate the largest One Piece civilization that's created in Minecraft. The players are entirely free to do whatever they want, whether that's building up cities, hosting public executions, or even buying islands off their own will. There's only one rule. If a player dies, they're dead forever. Will the players work together to create thriving civilizations? Or will disagreements throughout the crews lead to a massive world war? Well, to find out, sit back, relax, and pick a team to root for while I present to you the 300 player One Piece experiment. On day one, each team was released on different islands. It didn't take very long to realize that each team had different ways of leading their own people such as the pirates team located on Dawn Island being an all-you-can-eat pillage. They were kind of free to do whatever they wanted with very little organization and structure. That sure won't bite them in the back, right? They first headed to the village and searched for food, and I even found Nami from the show. But this village had a few marines waiting around the corner. A different team known as the marines spawned in Shelltown, but these guys decided to explore the ships at the harbor. This gave them an advantage, but I also clocked another Nami. Seems she was a fan favorite. They were the first team to set sail, realizing there was farmland nearby, and gunned it there, relieving them off their hunger struggles. A team that wasn't so fortunate, though, was the Revolutionary. They chose for their team to spawn at random islands, leading for them to be well dispersed. Quickly after a self-elected leader, Ninzai began to organize those on his island, there was a marine named Noski who appeared to have quite the ambition. See, on the server, there's a quest line any player on here can take and it's kept pretty vague. It's the quest to finding the One Piece, which is a treasure placed by the infamous pirate Gold D. Roger. He's dead now, but his pirate loot remains. And Noski here, despite being a marine who's supposed to hate the pirates, he too wanted a piece of that treasure. Meanwhile, the rest of the marines were after pirates, aimed at finding stowaways on ships and searching for powers called Devil Fruits, which is dispersed all across this One Piece world. These Devil Fruits grant players powers, but also removes their ability to swim, so they have to eat it with caution. These guys got a little creative in the way that they travel the seas, but a team that might get in the way of that would be the bounty hunters. Not bound by any team nonsense, they are here to kill off people that they're hired to assassinate. I guess you could say they're all for the money. But for this to happen, they had to get their strength up. With Mindless being their leader, this bounty hunter team was known as the Cross Guild, and they utilized the races they spawn in with. One being Fishmen, which lets them swim in the water really fast, and the other being Cyborg, which makes them run off of Coca-Cola. Yeah, it's not a joke. Players were able to create smaller teams within, such as Chase, who was a pirate crew in search for the devil fruits across the map. Or Bream, who was a scientist of the marine, kind of just wanted to build. His alliances seemed a bit feeble to them. Right when they all were gearing up and got stronger, a player caught my attention, telling me that he found the One Piece. I'm, I'm walking. What's going on? Yo, Adrian. I'm bugs. So. They found the One Piece. Did you? What's the What's the One Piece? You didn't find the One Piece. Okay. It's not <laughs> one piece I found one piece. So I was going through the Goa Kingdom ruins. I was trying to find some loot because I saw gold blocks. So I was going through a bunch of those buildings. And okay. I found one that had a bunch of diamond blocks and gold blocks, and there's signs that were saying the One Piece, the One Piece is real. Is, is it? Wait, it? is it near here? Yeah, it's in the Goa, Goa Kingdoms, Kingdom. directly this way. Oh, can you take me there? Yeah, sure. Bet, 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 bet. Let's do it. I thought bro was lying, but just in case, I went to go check it out. Come on, what come on. the one? <laughs> you found it. <laughs> yeah. found it. <laughs> yeah. Look, I, I came through. I came through this side. This is where I came through, and I blocked it off right here. And I walked out of here. You see, there's the wood. There's the wood that I left. You, there's the, you know the, the, the jungle wait, wood. Do you, do you know how I know this is real One Piece? Because I cannot use any of my moves. All right, can can we can we get this then, Adrian? Is that okay? Let's go! Yeah, let's go! Bro, we're getting armor and shit with this. Let's go, bro. We're rich. Cross Guild is the richest. Top Dude, boys, I can't believe this. Actually found treasure. Not the actual One Piece, but something that rose the bounty hunters to be the richest team on the server. Very fitting. And just like like the cross guild accomplishing their ambitions so can you with your own ambitions with the help of today's sponsor southern new hampshire university snhu offers a complete game design degree designed to help you make video games your career teaching coding languages including the coding language minecraft is written in java that's what i use to make a lot of custom things in my videos but it's not only code you'll be learning to bring characters and environments to life within both 2d and 3d as well as the pillars of what makes good 
game designs. So not only will you be graduating with a degree, but with real knowledge and experience. So why wait to kickstart your career? Go to snhu.edu slash adrians, located in the description, and fill out the form to receive free information about their degree. And it even supports the channel. Thank you, SNHU, for sponsoring this video. Now back to the cross game. Mark the start to the bounty hunter's reign. Not to mention, Deskew ended up getting the gravity gravity fruit, which literally let him control gravity. That's nuts. Raising up how powerful of a team they were in the first place. While the bounty hunters were sinking their teeth in riches, the marines were sinking their teeth in water. Now that's a sight to behold. Taking a look at a pirate crew forming at Dawn Island, it was owned by Rigatoni, who was making this place their own little fishing village. But I think they were stuck here because they didn't know how to make a boat. You know, for real? Boatless pirates? Classic. It didn't take very long for someone to revoke the title of richest from the bounty hunters, with many a marine whose sole goal was to explore ended up discovering a gold mine of diamonds. This marked the marines as the most funded team on the server. You may be wondering what richest even means. Well, on the server, if you have money, you have power. Not only can you hire people, but you can buy entire islands. This means at some point, someone could potentially buy the world. So this was huge. While these players were worrying about their fame and fortune, others were after some bosses. This world contains a few bosses, which is an easy way to get a hold of a devil fruit and get stronger very quickly. The first of many bosses being Arlong, located in this place called Arlong Park. The closest pirate crew was Soys, who was selling devil fruits for those who were unlucky. But to do so, so they need to definitely get some more, hence why he was here. His crew was known as the D2 Pirates. Yeah, Soy, you sent me to my death. Thank oh my god. You. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! What? Where'd your third teammate go? I don't know, but I think he's on the bottom. What the hell? Get him. Oh, you got him! A hard battle led him to killing off Arlong, which dropped the devil fruit known as the Phoenix Phoenix fruit. And the person that ended up picking it up was Osama. Oh. oh, he got the he got the fruit! I got Phoenix! You got the Phoenix fruit! Let's go! Eat that eat that shit! <laughs> Let's go. Eating it whole. This gave him the ability of a blue flame phoenix. Guess he knew what its worth was, because <laughs> it didn't look like he was going to be selling it like his team does. Not only this, but they used Arlong and his fishmen as a perfect method to train up their powers. Basically, every kill you get on this server, you get Doriki, which makes your devil fruit stronger. It also gives you more health, so this was a necessary step for any crew, whether pirate or marine. As the pirates explored the world, so did the marines in covering their first honoglyph that had been found by the players over at an island called Alabasta. This place had scorpions, not much food, but at its capital underneath what meets the eyes were the tombs. And the first of many honoglyphs needed to find the One Piece. Whoa, like Nami! Yeah. Look at the yeah, discoveries you're good. making. Hey, do you want to see some? Wait, let me see. Damn. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Are you gonna eat it? No, no, bro. I want the hee hee ice fruit. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm still trying to get the barrier fruit. Wait, but what poneglyph is this? Bitch. This is the first one. The first one. Yeah, the first one. Each poneglyph hints to the next location that the next one is on. So they try to uncover where the next one would be at using the hint. With many of the nearby fruits and loot taken by the marines and bounty hunters, the pirates by the spawn island finally got a hold of their first boat. Like watching a baby walk for the first time. Ready to adventure the already explored islands much later than their peers. But these guys had officially given their crew name a name. The El Drunk Doors. Yeah, that's that's actually what they wanted to be called. Team leaders were slowly being picked from each team, and the Marines had elected Eok to be head admiral, who had the string string fruit. This fruit's pretty powerful. He was aiming even higher, but disliked Noski's endeavor to a pirate's goal of finding the One Piece. It didn't make a lot of sense to him. Rama was definitely stirring within. One of Eopok's men was interrogating a pirate who leaked coordinates to opponent 
Ornoglyph that he'd seen before but didn't go near. Relaying the intel to the Marines, that led to Mini, captain of his division, within the Marines to uncover the third Poneglyph, skipping over the second one. Not too soon after began a world event known as the Build Phase, which gives players the ability to build a base for their teams. The best base being awarded a rare Devil Fruit. Reem took this challenge firsthand and began working on a Vegapunk funded city. It wasn't just him either, Mindless of the Cross Guild, Bounty Hunters, and Ninzai of the Revolutionary had some plans for this as well. As they both were against the Marines overall, the Cross Guild and Revolutionary made an alliance and requested help on hunting down RKL. RKL was known for stealing, crashing out, and just trying to kill off the Revolutionaries. Before then, people were sent to inform the Cross Guild and the D2 crew. Cross Guild, hearing the news, went out to search for him since they needed to kidnap him in order to host the execution and luckily they tricked him into meeting on the pier pretending that they had devil fruits for him to buy the oh, you, got the, you got the fruit okay so as you can you see i've fruit. got one right here show the fruit as you can see read them and weep hold it out to the, to the, you know yeah let's yeah. have it no deal. rev no we were we were told that you have it Ugh. i kill we were told that you have it from the revs. Oh the revs. boy. No, no Re Arkel, the, by the revs themselves, multiple people, that you have the fruit, and and then you, you know. And then you confirmed it. <laughs> yeah, you, didn't you just say you had the fruit? Hold no. on. Isn't that the Wait. whole reason that you came here to begin with? Yeah, isn't that the reason why you. Wait, no. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, what is that one? Tiny so tiny? Nuke. Looking meteor, I'm not gonna lie, man. One block so of big meteor. You might, you might. Honestly, look, we'll we'll think about it once we once we Hi, see man. the fruit. If, if the we... fruit is there, if the fruit is there, we will. He's lying to them, but he's surrounded by them. But don't let this fool you. RKL is definitely up to something. Just like the Marines on their trip to Skypea as they buy up the floating island in the sky. Crazy. Mini being the closest to here, he was the early bird on snagging some of the devil fruits located in Skypea, such as the barrier barrier fruit and the smoke smoke fruit. The Marines were getting into the devil fruit monopoly. Speaking of the Marines, a Marine who's after the One Piece, Noski soon followed up, seeming to be a united force. Gunny, Noski's right hand man, ended up eating the barrier fruit and shortly after they discover the second poneglyph finding all the major blue poneglyphs in this world but their journey for the one piece had only just begun right on top of where the marines were exploring lie to god who ruled over this place known as anel he too had a devil fruit which could cast lightning at his will but just when it was announced three challenges appeared eok the marine admiral mini a vice admiral and Insama, leader of the D2 pirate crew with the Phoenix Fruit. Mini fought first. Quickly realizing he was outmatched, he fell back wanting to preserve his one life. Mark. Insama was the one that eliminated Arlong, and he too arrived here to eliminate Anel. It was a race to who killed the boss, which drops a devil fruit that they can give to a subordinate. That's a big word. Pirates and Marines worked together to stay alive, and with a pretty lengthy fight, Anel was killed off, dropping the Sand Sand Fruit, which was snagged up by Dandy. Interestingly enough, the cross guild was actually after this fruit too what was next for the team searching for the one piece just like the show was to find the reed poneglyphs which are red there are four across the world and they had to locate them wonder who will be the first to locate them all meanwhile the pirates team was so disorganized like this team that ended up in the stomach of a whale like how at least they're avoiding the world conflicts in here unlike what's about to happen in marine Fort. throughout the rain on this server the marines were top dog since the moment many found their riches over the richest team, which was the Cross Guild, located back on Don Island. This rule was led by Eok, who apparently had been treating his fellow Marines like lapdogs, giving them confusing orders and barely even knowing what he was doing. The Marines being fed up with his horrible leadership skills, they decided to enact an execution of the Marine Fleet Admiral, Eok. Yes, even the Fleet Admiral isn't exempt from the consequences of his own actions. It was broadcasted, not only did Marines teams pull up so did some pirate crews as well they wanted to watch the fleet admiral of the marines die by their own eyes to make fit even more it started to rain as eo began saying his final words there has been justice and what he has not been doing is dealing with justice or injustice around the entire world so that's why today we will sacrifice him in order for a better future a better future for the marines for the people and for all of us everyone 
just so we can live safer and with a better ruler. Which Ooh, could but be I'm done, done. Oh, no. oh, oh, he's running. He's running. Oh my god. He planned this out? Where'd he go? Where is he? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no, he relogged. Oh, the lag is crazy. <laughs> the lag is crazy. The Phoenix is on him. Oh. With a final sentence, he somehow fled the scene. As every Marine there began to chase him, he escaped with his string string fruit, canceling his own execution. What? With this frenzy, the teams at the front also dispersed, knowing that people would open fire the moment they saw chaos break loose. But with any leader coming to an end, comes a new one to take its place. That being Noski of the Marines, this was a perfect moment for him. He stepped up to becoming the new fleet admiral and no one could say anything against him because he was the most powerful Marine they had. Though some Marine teams weren't too fond of his pirate-like quest to find the One Piece, he was strong enough to do both. We the people, in order to survive, we have murdered the traitor! Whee! You know, like that. Tell them to grovel beneath you as you're the magic carpet of this world. The Nami, the Nami of this world. Taking over his fleet admiral. My people, this, this, um, this world. My people, this world. We've eliminated a big threat called Yoba. <laughs> Um, we eliminated a big friend called Eopoka and I'm being bullied. <laughs> and you, you pirate scum, nobody likes you guys. You know what, screw you guys, I might not be a pirate, but I'm playing on the one piece with Gunny down there. Yeah, Gunny, Agent Gunny right down there. There's a balance of 25 diamond blocks. Oh! On, hmm. Oh, Ninzai. or, yeah. or Ninzai. Ninzai. Mm -hmm. yeah, Ninzai. Three diamond blocks, do you ever kill Ninzai? Hey, shoot, go kill him. Noski, you sure this is the right choice? I, I agree, I agree with everything you said. I agree with everything you said. You're so right, you're so right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You're a tyrant, Nami. What's happening to you? Oh yeah. Actually, I'm Nami as well. I'm not just a magic carp, I'm Nami. <laughs> You guys better listen to this. Screw the revolutionary army, you're all dying, especially Ninzai. Mindless, I you're dying too, I guess. I don't know. Pirates! You suck! I'm in the admiral, I'm one of them. Noski's my fleet admiral. You're all gonna die. Horrible deaths. We're gonna grab the one piece before you even get near the island. You're all I'm dead. Allowed on the island. I'm allowed on the island. I'm not got devil through Fall by, our, by our hands! You shall be slain oh. by the Marines. Oh. He just wrote up by the and you're broke! Yeah, do not take diamond blocks, take diamond blocks. No diamond blocks, no gold blocks, no iron blocks, no emeralds, no fruits. All of you. Marines on top. That's all I have to say. Oski's first act as Marine the Admiral was to put down a payment of 30 diamond blocks, which is around 300 million berries on Ninzai's head. Being the leader of the Revolutionary Army, he thought to himself, cut their head off and they'll be disorganized. The pirate's reign and the bounty hunter's reign of this world was now over. The Marines are now on the top. They have the devil fruits, they have the people, poneglyphs, and soon maybe even the One Piece. But as the Marines pushed forward, so did the Revolutionary Army. They heard about the bounty and knew they needed more manpower. One of their members ended up locating the magma fruit, which is super powerful. Ninzai, the leader, had a devil fruit of his own. It was the Opa Opa no Mi, which lets him create a sphere and move things around. Though it kind of sounded weak, it can literally rip people's hearts out and kill them from afar, a threat to be reckoned with. Meanwhile, on a different shore, someone had actually obtained the Gomu Gomu no Mi, which is the stretch stretch fruit owned by the main character Luffy in the show. Seeing as the Marines started buying more and more land on the 
west. It's just this island Noski just bought. Very pink, but I guess it's something he's up to right now. I'm not sure why he's on this island. Despite the cutesy looks of things, Noski showed me just how far he's come from a measly chore boy that he started out as. Many devil fruits were in his control, including the thing called the smile fruit. This thing was creepy. I don't even remember it from the show and I'm 500 episodes in. He also revealed to me that he has this thing called the buster call, which lets him summon a marine fleet at his will to invade an enemy island. This guy was no joke. But if you thought that he was strong, check out Minnie now having netherite armor, piecing Bonclave up like he was Rock Lee during that Gara fight. Meanwhile, someone trampling over marine areas that are claimed, some new pirate rookies started emerging and went a bit chaotic. They calmed down after a bit after they managed to make some ships and went out to sea. Their ultimate goal was the One Piece and hopes of obtaining a quest to search for the Pony. They had some up and downs, but eventually, but definitely not with. What maybe the heck I'll, is that, maybe bro? I'll. Oh my God! Is that? Distracted. Is that the pony? How the f is was it? Oh my god, a tiger! We're the same blood! <laughs> Yo, what the f? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Oweka's riding the animals again. Oweka's touching the animals again. Oh, of course he is. Ah! 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 Oweka, what the hell? Aww. The little kitty cat. Maybe we can go fight him with this. Dude, you guys don't need to fight him. <laughs> it's not, gonna... not worth it. Oh, what is this? Oh, wait, it's the, it's the pony glyph. Yup. Yeah. the pony glyph? I don't know how to read that. Uh, the whiskers, what do you make of this? This. Well, we need to, we need to write this down, bro. We go need paper. Go to the white... What did I... Go to the white seas. Pony... Okay, let's go. Wait, wait, what? Oh, oh, go to the white seas. Okay. He's okay. Next time we're in a fight, bro, and I only have a wooden sword, I need you to actually help me. How about you tell me to choose a good why, class? Why are you? Why are you gonna be the pirates, bro? When you're not doing anything? No. Thing. Playing. Tell you're me. out here playing with cats, mm, wagging your tail. Bro, mm, bro, mm, bro. <laughs> I swear to fucking God, bro. I'm gonna get the best devil fruit and I'll fucking beat your ass, bro. Tell me why. Tell me why you tell me to choose the mink, and then you tell me to. Oh, like a look, a ball of yarn, a ball of yarn. Look. Look, there. <laughs> you guys know where you're going? No, the White Seas. Yeah, what do you guys think the White Sea is? Um, what sounds white? No clue. Oh, wait. I've heard of a pirate named like Whitebeard. Maybe it's his seas? Oh my god. People own seas? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. I'm just guessing. Oh, I could just yeah, ask in, ask in chat if anyone knows what the White Sea is. After a long journey, their crew ended up finding it to Skypea as well, finding the second Poneglyph. Oweka, who was in this crew, managed to find a poison fruit that was left over in the gold ruins. Now, having the climb attack as a weapon, because for some reason he picked Nami's class, he finally made some progress. Look at you go, little thing. They next headed to Ohara, the island of books, for their next Poneglyph. And once again, they found it. But the reed Poneglyphs were a little bit tricky for them and they ended up in Sabaody somehow. What the hell? Things ended up finding the hand hand fruit here. A little freaky. Finally, this mini crew had some firepower and they began to work on a base. They couldn't really get a hold of any people and if they did find people, they just ran away from them. I don't think they're going to be making it very far, but Oweka seems to be a little blood hungry. Most teams during this day farmed up on some Doriki to get stronger, worked on their bases, and prepared for the marines lashing out and executing the pirates and revolutionaries like the monsters they were. With day two coming to a close. At the beginning of day three, I got to see some of the towns that are actually fully built. Mindless's ship that's practically already built and the revolutionary army's anti-devil fruit base. Even though most of them got fruits, so I don't really know what they're up to. Checking up on multi, bro might actually be Luffy. He was saying he wants to claim Long Ring Long Island. Yeah, that's an actual island name. And wanted it to be his own, but he didn't reveal to me why yet. I'm keeping an eye on you, buddy. Moving over to the revolutionary 
army execution, things will drift drastically in this world depending on the outcome of this. Apparently, the player RKL had dealings with every team, lying his way around, claiming that he had fruits that were in high demand and even some banned fruits. I don't know how anyone believed him. Bro was a menace to every team on the server altogether, with Awek and Eok ending up stumbling across the execution. They were ready to lose one life to save the many that the revolutionary army helped out. They were a place for pirates, unwanted, and even marines in hiding such as Eok to be accepted and helped out during these trying times. While RKL's execution will mark the end to a lot of trade that's been going on in the back end. All right, guys. So yesterday, uh, the revolutionaries were struggling to get like a place to live on. By yeah. the government not paying us enough money to survive, we've decided to rebel against them and then we started the revolution. And yeah. I thought that everyone was uh, in agreement in the group to uh, stick together, you know. But then someone here decided to, uh, you know, betray us, and that's not good. And they interrupted a deal. That's not. That's not really cool in Sigma. And with that, RKL is eliminated by the hands of Ninzai's second in command, Prince Suko. Meanwhile, on a different island far in the east, Noski's crew ended up at Wano. Both Whole Cake Island and Punk Hazard had red poneglyphs that they both explored, leaving two more for them to find. But they also had this theory. Back to Ninzai and Zuko, the leaders of the Revolutionary Army plan to take over the Netherworld event in pursuit of getting the Mara Mara no Mi, also known as the Flame Fruit, and killing off the Airbenders. Wonder who came up with that plan? Yoke and Aweka have been acting strangely. They seem to be working together, but it seems like they're up to something fishy. Noski set a bounty of one netherite block on Zuko, seeing as he executed RKL, who was crucial to how Noski got a hold of some of the fruits he had. The others didn't seem too fond of this action, and things started to get heated up, seeing as people were very money hungry. Aweka and Eok ended up finding the Buddha fruit user, who, who tells him his plan of killing off Noski to get Eok his fleet admiral position back. A perfect revenge, assuming they could pull it off but over in the nether there were brave sailors in hopes to finding the fire fruit and there it was ace of the white beard pirates the nether boss with insama being there as well he was on his own boss killing spree so they both fought the boss with everything that they had killing it off it dropped the marrow which zuko picked up and ate instantly zuko knew that this fruit was in high demand so he bounced out of there shifting back over to another boss nearby in the overworld doflamingo was the boss on whole cake island he Poke's crew and Aweka, his second in command, tried killing it off, but D2 was more organized than they could have imagined. Hyper of D2 ended up defeating Doflamingo and picking up the Paw Paw Fruit, another powerful fruit taken by the pirates. Team the Marines' strategy on getting the One Piece ended up leaving bosses and their rewards to the pirates and revolutionaries. This may bite the Marines in the back. The moment many of the pirate crews and non-Marine leaders realized this, and how far the Marines have actually gone in the event, they knew something needed to change. So they set up a meeting on a bridge called Tequila Bridge to discuss how they should fight against the Marines' rising power. They, for starters, began to merge some of the funds that they had to buy up some islands they'd need to farm mobs, ores, and a few other materials. The revolutionaries bought up the nether. Even though it wasn't an island, they coughed up 900 million berries for it. Fair enough, I guess. But shortly after, they talked of a plan to lure Marines to them to see if they could be assassinated. The end portal was in the pirates' possession, conveniently located on Long Island, which is precisely the island that was purchased by multi of the D2 pirates. Q slide dog. I finally figured out why you bought it. There was also talks of another way to lure them out as a reserve, just in case the end portal plan went to haywire, but only then will it be enacted. The cross guild's goals beyond assassinating people was to locate two devil fruits. The sand sand fruit, which unfortunately was already found, eaten and beaten into someone, and the chop chop fruit, which in this ship was not too longer left unattended. The cross 
Moss Guild was finished with their ship as well. Impressive stuff. Speaking of the Devil Fruits, the mods finally decided on the winner of the build competition, awarding Nenzai the Gura Gura no Mi, which is Whitebeard's fruit, giving him the ability to create earthquakes even in the air. Nenzai gave it to Avrix to eat, which I don't think Zuko was very fond of. Zuko had a different idea on who should get it, but he let it slide. Going back over to Aweka, he was fed up with the revolutionaries, calling him a little runt. Pathetic increments of algae and a worthless piece of scum. This led to Aweka challenging Zuko for the ownership of the entire revolutionary team. Aweka versus a very organized revolutionary team. Make your picks on who's gonna win this one. Zuko had killed off Aweka. This guy was never winning in the first place. Who in their right mind would think to pick a 2v1? There's two leaders to this place. Despite the revolutionaries surviving this one, they might not survive for much longer. Zuko was the one that killed off the last execution that happened on the server and he too was prepared for a brand new execution of his own apparently someone in the revolutionary was causing more problems than opportunities so zuko wanted to hold an execution at marine fort while most marines were exploring wano in the new world added to this eok wanted to tag along to execute one of noski's second in commands below admirals known as marty he was still stuck in the west because he was lost as hell meaning there'd be two public executions both held at marine fort after preparations they at last made it to marine fort completely freezing it over with the ice ice fruit with eok taking the first execution marty was executed showing the marines that they abandoned a powerful ally to rot and next up was the revolutionary's execution which would shake the world as is currently the world is in the marines rule and with this execution things might change forever the person being executed was the leader of the revolutionaries ninja hereby you are the worst leader I've ever seen in my life. God. You have led the re re revolutionaries to nowhere. You have helped us with nothing. Absolutely nothing. When we asked you for help against the Marines, you didn't do anything for us. When we asked for devil fruits in return for diamonds, you did didn't give us anything. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! See you later! Ending Ninzai's reign over the revolutionaries, marking Zuko as its new current leader. Fashionably late, an interesting person arrives in order to save Marty. Not realizing it was already over, the revolutionaries plan to lure him in worked. So I ended up using the paw fruit on Noski and Brogoth flung like Team Rocket in Pokemon. This kept Noski, the fleet admiral, busy and unable to aim his buster call, giving everyone a chance to escape. Noski's number one enemy on the server was killed, so the Marines guard was lowered. Moving on to one of the final world events the end opened up at long island but was this all for nothing this entire execution ended up going through with nothing changing no in truth back at the bridge during the meeting with the pirate and revolutionary leaders this was all according to plan their plan was to lure the marines over at marine ford and use the pawpaw fruit for whoever showed up to knock them sky high giving the revolutionaries and pirates a chance to steal the dragon egg and it worked flawlessly the dragon egg on the server is the only way to get a hold of the dark dark fruit which if you didn't know grants the user the ability to use two devil fruits yeah. this was something sought out by every one ninzai never died he all along was still alive the one who ended up dying during that execution was someone who had a devil fruit known as the copy copy fruit in d2's pirate crew risking his own life by cloning into ninzai and being executed in order to give the revolutionary the upper hand in this fight it was genius marine's plans went to crap, allowing Ninzai to be one of the first people to enter the end. Ninzai's life, however, was very short-lived, as he was killed off during the dragon fight, as was Stagman. But Zuko was still here to pull off the revolutionary's ambitions. Someone ended up blowing up the ender dragon at the end. I didn't even know that was possible. The dragon fight was redone, not once, not twice, but three times. But at the end, Ensama ended up getting the Yami fruit, awarding him the darkness fruit, giving him both the Zoan type fiend Phoenix fruit and the Logia Darkness fruit. He already was a server big shot, soloing the bosses since the start. Now he's even more of a threat. This marked Nsama as being the king of the pirates, off of pure progression, strength, and members in his crew. The numbers of every faction in this world dwindled down due to the world event. All that remained was a handful of bloodthirsty rampant players ready to jump anyone at any moment. Yoke is trying to recruit all the ex-revolutionaries for the best chance at winning. Times have come near its 
end. Zuko and Eok decided to make graves for all those that have fallen, including the Buddha fruit user, to remember all the good times they had, the bad and even the lost pets. In the midst of all this chaos, Multi was killed off. The brains of the D2 pirates and the Ninzai execution operation. All that remained was the leader of the Marines, Noski, who challenged all the factions of the world to face him over at Onigashima. My bad, Sam. I meant, sure, I didn't need to take away your sure. food. Oh, there's a guy. Get the gun. Get him. Oh. Where he oh. reset my heart. That's such oh, that's wraps. He used it. He's a darkness fruit. He's getting so many people right now. Oh, man. Oh, man. Huh. I'll move now. We're like walking. Oh, yeah, we can. <laughs> Nah, I'm not so done for. Oh, you're making me sick. Sinking now. He's done for. Eok just died. Oh my gosh. Eok and Mindless were killed off in the midst of war, ending both the Marine Revenge Arc and Mindless's Guild of Bounty Hunters. The rest of the Marines went into hiding in hopes that the others would kill themselves off. And to a degree, that kind of worked. Zuko, the leader of the Revolutionary Army, took one final stance against everyone on the server. But that very choice led to his demise. Though he was a bloodthirsty leader, there for executions, he respected Ninzai and his leadership. He wanted what was best for his people. He may have been a squeaker, but he was a revolutionary squeaker. Thick and thin. He'll be remembered, Prince Zuko. Bunny, the sand fruit user, versus Ensama, the Yami and Phoenix fruit user. The king of the pirates was having a parade day here. Bunny fell victim to Ensama. As did so many others. The Admiral of the Marines have all fallen except for one, many. Soy Boy, the pot fruit user, was also killed off. Zibarev obtained the flame flame fruit after Zuko's death. Hopefully he'll carry on Zuko's will. Nanny tried to reason with Insama, but he wasn't having it at all and used the black hole move that broke the floor. In this, he killed himself and Noski in the process by removing the bedrock at the bottom. Smart. There was only three players left, one Marine and two pirates. I'm in a way, but it's over. There's a guy behind her. I, know, I, I don't have to be the final dip. <laughs> you're, you're gonna give him the win? I mean, no, I just like literally cannot kill him. <laughs> oh. He's immortal. Wait, I can I can probably force him into the void though. Wait, hold on. Before we before we end this, I can take him with me. Who? Dude, I, dude, I'm gonna take you with me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the final <laughs> execution! No way! <laughs> that was my plan and I can't even do it. <laughs> God. <laughs> Handy was sinking and he wasn't gonna die alone. So he dragged Zibaref, the one that picked up the Mera, into the void with him, leaving Minnie as the last Marine alive. The Admirals kept their reign. With their organization and hardships, they proved to be the strongest force on the One Piece server. If you want more third person simulations just like this one, click here. And let me know in the comments, please. Peace.